Today on Idiot Island, we're gonna have a man in his underwear survive for as long as possible. And with me in charge, he is sure to thrive. The first thing we're gonna do is reward him with a hearty coconut. And then also explore what's over here because apparently we get to keep our house from last time, which isn't quite done, but it's rather close. So I'm not sure why we get this, but I'm not gonna complain. The first thing we're gonna do is gather some logs. Or we're gonna click on whatever this is as he stares passionately into your soul. I'm also not really sure what we're doing here. Oh, maybe we should call it Erotic Island now. Yeah, he likes that. We all like that. Okay, I got money for covering his face in coconut cream. I mean, why wouldn't I? That makes sense. I guess we're shaving him. Okay, we get money for shaving him. Now we're gonna survive. And that didn't even take a day. I don't know why we got money to shave the naked man, but we got money to shave the naked man. Anyways, what we really need here are logs. We need to keep up our log production for as long as possible while not getting eaten by the sharks on day one. And given how many sharks there are and only three logs, actually we got it. Day two already, we're absolutely thriving. So basically, as long as he's not immediately dying of anything at all, we're going to be looking for logs. Uh, here's the hardest challenge in the world. Am I going to get it before the shark gets me? I don't know. That was a close one. And it's a good thing we shaved him. Now the water won't get stuck in his beard. It'll just beat off his body straight onto the island. So he's earned himself a coconut. And also there's a clam on the ground. We might as well scoop up one of those. This is a little bit backwards, but I'm going to take advantage of the rain today because, well, it's raining. We can feed him tomorrow if he's good, but only if he's good. And it's raining anyway, so I didn't need to do that, but we'll catch ourselves a fish. I'm suddenly pretty stressed out about this because I don't actually know how many spears I have, so I wouldn't want to miss. 6.4 kilos. So we've already gathered the coconut today, so his daily chores are done. So now what do we do with this idiot? Walk the plank, stupid. Get in the water. We're going to see if there's sharks around. He won't do it. But because our levels are getting low, we might as well stoke the fire with some of our valuable logs. Which brings us to day five. Our sleep levels are still pretty good. I'm not sure where he's getting rest. Actually, stoking the fire does not progress the day. I forgot about that, so we're gonna find more logs. What a life. Walking around naked on our own island, collecting logs. And check in our levels of things. We're doing pretty good. We have one water drop. I don't know what that is, but we have eight spears. And we can make more if we need to. Um, I'm much less tired than I was last time, so we're not going to miss many fish. We are going to party, though. And because he's been working so hard, wandering around the island, waving at things, he deserves a nap. Though if it was up to me, he wouldn't get to sleep for a day. He would go right back to work. But I guess he does enjoy murdering sheep in his sleep. Oh, and we get a bomb from this one. That's good, actually going to be very good. Not only do we get to blow up the wildlife, but we're going to get lots of items because of that. As soon as we actually start hitting what we're supposed to. You cleared everything. Now we're fully rested. He will die eventually. It's just going to be a long, slow death. And we're going to find some more logs. Okay, there's definitely a lot of sharks here. Uh... I would prefer not to use the bomb thing on these guys, but I might have to. Actually, they all moved just to the center, so we got our four logs without any issue. So maybe today, let's add them to our house, because even idiots need shelter. And we're almost all of the way there. We're actually done already. I didn't realize we were that close. There you go, you now have a hut. Does the hut do anything? Do you like your hut? I worked really hard building this. It better do something. This is what you get for shaving a naked man's face. No appreciation whatsoever. Maybe I should just let him die. Whatever the case, we're going log shopping. And um, pretty sure I'm gonna be able to get these ones. Though the sharks are being pretty annoying about it. Idiots, get over here. And got it. Well, more logs it is for his majesty here who needs a rather expensive hut to survive on. Some levels are getting low. We're gonna stoke the fire with our logs. And then we're gonna try and catch ourselves a fish. Uh, there seems to be a log jam of fish on the right side. I'm a little concerned about, but a big one is powering his way through. So we'll hopefully get that one. Oh, okay. And I said I wasn't gonna do that today. I <laughs> was just aiming at the big uh, squad of fish, hoping to hit one of them. So I should probably start paying attention. Oh, we have something up here. Okay, so we get deliveries to our island. He's not really a survivor at all. What is this? What? Why do we get free stuff? He's surviving in the middle of the goddamn ocean, but he has Amazon delivering him stuff. Why am I taking care of him? If I see a delivery boat show up, I'm going to stab him with my spear and feed him to the sharks. No one takes care of this naked man except me. We need more logs. Oh, we got Wilson back. Not sure if I should have grabbed Wilson, actually. I don't want him to have a friend. He's going to get too confident if he has someone to talk to. I want him to go insane. Uh, we're going to take advantage of the rain today. Hopefully rest doesn't go that low, but he has a mansion to sleep in, so he shouldn't be that tired. And we leveled up. Okay, idiot managed not to die of exhaustion for a day, so good for him. We're going to put him to bed now because he's working so hard getting fed. He literally walks around on the island all day while I do all the work for him. Okay, let's, let's use the auto clicker for this. 
Oh, it's not that much quicker anyway. Okay, don't use the auto clicker on that game. Uh, oh, I might have broke the game. So if you ever want a wild time while playing Johnny's Island, use an auto clicker. It'll completely crash everything. So that set us back a day, but we got our save file back. So we then murdered the sheep without using an auto clicker, and now life is good again. And we got another delivery already. I feel like this is cheating. This is going to make things so easy. But what can we buy for our idiot now? Some of this stuff actually gets really expensive. Well, he doesn't really deserve any of this stuff yet, and he doesn't need any tools since we get Amazon delivery anyway. So it's back to the log mines for you. We're going to have so many logs by the end of this, it's going to be stupid, especially when the levels are this easy. Uh, our levels of many things are getting low, so we're going to go ahead and spear a fish. I really don't want to talk about that. But when you've got 15 spears because they get delivered to you, it doesn't really matter what you do. Kind of wish I hit the bigger fish. That's only three kilos. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stoke that fire. Yeah, you enjoy that. I'm starting to think he's not stranded on the island. I'm starting to think someone put him there for a reason. Because I feel like this guy shouldn't be loose in society. Because there's also no story as to why he's in his underwear on the island. I feel like if he made it there, he fell off a boat, he'd probably have some clothes around. I find it strange he made it here in just his underwear. But let's maybe not ask questions we don't want the answers to. Day 17, give me those logs. Log. So I think it's every two days we get a delivery of everything you see that which includes fish. So yeah, this is like playing on cheat mode. We just survive forever. I wonder if we can get day a thousand now. We still need to level him up. He's only level eight. Can we shave him now? He doesn't even have a beard. I just want to put coconut cream on his face again. Yeah, he's definitely on this island for a reason. And nothing happened. Okay, thank you, Johnny, you creepy weirdo. So I'm going to spend the majority of my time just farming logs. And times like this, I'm not going to work really hard to even get the logs because we don't really need them that badly anymore because we're rich in resources. Raining today, but I don't really care. So back to the logs. One log. One log to every five sharks. There's even a log sitting on the beach today. But curiously, no Amazon delivery. That's okay, because he needs a rest anyway. He's been working very hard getting coconut cream on his face. So we'll just go ahead and let him have a nap while we murder some sheep and get some more spears. I just got an achievement for something called Stacker. I assume that's because I killed enough sheep or something. Amazon delivery today. What are we going to get? everything. But it's day 20 and we need rainwater so let's see if we can manage to put coconuts out to collect rainwater. I feel like he could be doing this automatically. We don't need to waste a day to do this. He can just set three coconuts on the ground. But who am I to tell this obvious genius how to survive on an island? Uh, by the way, stupid your fire is getting low so let's go ahead and fix that. Let's see if we can manage this even. I feel like this also doesn't require an entire day's effort but when you know you know. Been a few days. The sharks are getting a little bit difficult on this one. They're really going after that one log. Never mind, I've got it. Day 23 has our Amazon delivery, plus we need to go fishing, unless that happens to have a fish in it, so we don't actually need to go fishing. But I kind of want to. I just can't go too long between stabbing things, otherwise I get unhappy. That was not the right fish. But okay, good luck Johnny. You're going to survive off minnows now. I think the hardest part on any given day right now is bothering to scroll over here to check for our Amazon delivery. Because for the most part, he takes care of himself. Like now, I just put him to bed. Then he uses his psychic powers to summon things straight out of the dream world into reality. Pretty useful skill when surviving on an island. And normally something like this would be annoying where two levels of something are getting low. But if we take our Amazon delivery, that's probably going to top up our food. Well, it could have, and then we don't need to worry about the other one. But now that I think about it, the stoking the fire doesn't actually take a day. You need to stoke the fire and life is good again. Now that the fire is fully stoked, we can go farm fish. This is the favorite part of my day. Also, who spear fishes like this? What's he doing? Just waving his spear back and forth at the surface of the water? No wonder he's on this island. Day 27, all the levels are good, so we're probably just going to spend the next week collecting logs. A uh, bit of a problem today. We seem to have a boss. Uh, this is new. Uh, yeah, go ahead and take apart my house. Didn't know that was a thing. Great. I like how cheery he is. Like a massive octopus just attacked our house and he couldn't care less. Just another day in the life of Johnny. I am pretty glad that we're going to get some random events showing up that I've never seen before just to keep it fresh. Look at all of our levels of things. Wow, I need to start paying attention. First things first, we're going to top up our fire, which is, I swear I just topped it up. So that's good. Then we need to sleep. Then we need food and water pretty much in the same day. So that's a little bit alarming. We need our Amazon deliveries back. Please dream something good into existence. Well, we get a log. So that's something at least. When you're as simple as Johnny, logs mean the world to you. Okay, I'm going to try and get fish 
today actually we're lower on water so i don't know which one to go for whoops okay i guess we're going for water first didn't mean to click on that we might die did you know johnny can survive at negative 0.1 fish the bar is actually below i'm not sure if that's supposed to happen anyways we're gonna feed him some fish now because i don't want him to die believe it or not hey johnny remember you killed that uh 800 kilogram octopus can we have eaten that maybe? Where did that go? Anyways, let's uh, get our Amazon deliveries back because that's very important to me. I'm not sure how many more logs it's going to eat. Oh, okay. So the octopus didn't do a lot of damage at all. We have 17 logs left over. So we're just going to continue to thrive until the next event shows up. Um, I've got to keep in mind that I probably need two days of stuff now because if the octopus shows up, that eats a day. But I'm also going to completely forget that. But for now, I'm just going to collect logs while also decimating the shark population. Uh, the octopus is back. It's day 40 something so i'm gonna try and kill it before it does much damage johnny could you please eat that thing this time use bottles and spears to scare it away can we kill it well i don't think it did too much damage it's day 47 but i pretty much just annihilated it with my spears because i have too many of those thanks to amazon deliveries speaking of which i've got 28 logs and it only took one to repair my hut so uh I guess it's back to business as usual, you creepy weirdo. And we made it to day 50, we're absolutely thriving. I feel like it's pretty mean of someone to deliver him stuff every day and not actually rescue him, but I'm all for that. He doesn't deserve a nice place. Day 52, we're getting low on both water and food, so let's hope this is gonna give us something good. And this is why that's so overpowered. Now our food is full again. Now we just need water. So it's definitely worth sacrificing like 100 logs to build this house. Survival gets easy, even for somebody as slow as Johnny. Day 56, he's leveled up again. And that means he's earned coconut cream face. Still not entirely sure why this earns us money. There's a lot of questions I have and I'm not entirely sure I want the answers to them. Okay, just because there's so many sharks here, I'm gonna throw some poison in the water just for fun. I really didn't need to do that. I don't need the logs. I just want to decimate their population. And just to spite them, I'm not even going to take the rest of the logs. They died for nothing. And I think every time he sleeps now, since I have so many items at my disposal, I'm going to try one of the other games to save up some money because I assume he's going to need money for something eventually. Now this one's very complicated. You either hop left or right. Even Johnny can probably manage this one. And he fell to his death. Didn't mean to screw that up so early on, but we're all the richer because of it. And we're five coins closer to whatever it is we're saving up for. I should probably start being a little more liberal with my use of items. I just really don't need to risk anything because I'm thriving somehow with this idiot in his underwear. Tap to go forward. Don't fall or hit anything. Pretty sure I can manage that. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay, I'm a sheep this time. Johnny has become a sheep and he's actually better in this form. We're gonna make so much money this way though? Oh, never mind. I still make the argument that Johnny is in fact better as a sheep rather than a naked man on an island. And the Kraken is back today. I should be throwing something other than spears maybe. Then again, maybe not. What happened to my water levels? Did the octopus eat my water? Oh right, my shelter is broken. So we definitely can still conceivably die if the right circumstances arise, but luckily it's raining today so we'll get our water back. 2.9 liters of it, so we're full of water again. Now we can fix everything else in our island that's falling apart. And a few days later, after a short nap, we can finally fix our house again on day 78. The Kraken actually took about 5 logs off our house that last time. Luckily we have 47 spares floating around even after repairs. And it turns out that this game is actually the highest earning for coins i just made 32 coins and i was half asleep while doing it day i don't know what and this idiot is back let's throw a bottle at him does that work yeah it's not as good as a spear so that was probably pretty damaging to our house we also need to sleep pretty badly and that's just fine by me because when you're this good at life you make money while you sleep day 101 today we made it all the way here but we're not done yet we can go much bigger uh especially with our super hut making things abundantly easy even after the octopus tries to destroy it then as soon as it's done we get an amazon delivery which was sitting there waiting for us and day 102 we've unlocked some new items and because he's been such a good survivor for us we're going to give him a hat that's very useful to survival a top hat now he's absolutely unstoppable and we've also assured that anyone driving by in a boat is going to take one look at this situation and not come anywhere near this island so let's keep going and see just how far we can take this wow this thing's showing up more and more often luckily i've got lots of spears for it so it's probably only taking a log off one two three logs that time four logs wow it's getting expensive we got 67 extra logs though and i've determined now that anything over seven kilos is a whopper i was also getting bored so i started to experiment with just how high we could get our levels and you could definitely go over max so on day 113 i think i'm going to change my strategy a bit days like today i don't really need logs i have 64 so i'm just going to go for an abundance of food now see now we already have 16 kilos of fish which is tons plus our amazon delivery just put us up to 22 kilos of fish and if we want we can collect more water today because i don't know what else to do 
I guess we have to sacrifice coconuts for that, but we got next at 1.5 liters. So just a short minute later, it is day 150. Boy, that willy went by fast. But thanks to my sublime skills and this man's fancy top hat, we're thriving. We've got 31 liters of water, 36 kilos of fish, 67 logs, so we're basically unstoppable. Now it's just a matter of exactly how far we want to take it, because even at a few seconds every day, this is going to take a long time. There's just no quick way to get through the day. Normally when it's raining, I'll collect rain, because that's the most efficient time to do it. We're going to get 3 liters, but it still takes this long to pass through a day, and this is the quickest form of day we can do. But let's just keep trucking along, because why wouldn't we? We're a survivor. On a sunny day, I'll probably collect logs, these are probably the longest of days because we have to wait a long time for the sharks to organize themselves. Which eventually they do, but I'm not super worried about collecting logs anymore because I've got so many, I've just got an abundance of everything I want. A short minute later, it's day 200 and we are absolutely thriving. 56 liters of water, 102 kilos of fish, 73 logs, and a house with home delivery. Plus we can touch Wilson if we want. Uh, also taking stock of the rest of my items, we have 167 spears despite the fact I use them everywhere, 44 poison bottles, 12 dynamites. So we're in pretty good shape and we're on day 200. Thought I might get some kind of achievement for making it this far, but maybe there's still one coming. I'm pretty sure that if I spear the smallest available fish, I will get an achievement for that, which might be a bit of a struggle because my spear fishing skills are not very good. For example, that was completely by accident. Now it's my big opportunity and I missed by a mile. Okay, I have another opportunity to spear the little fish right here. Was that it? Okay, there might be smaller fish. There was no achievement there, so I just wasted a lot of time. That statement coming from a guy who put a top hat on a man surviving on an island. But you know what? What else am I going to do with my time? And the Kraken has come back. Luckily, I have almost 200 spears to throw at it, so it only hit my little house once. And that's really not a concern anymore. I have so much of everything that I'm richer than anyone in the world. He's out here just living his best life on day 214. Jumping into day 250, we're still just thriving, doing the same thing over and over again. But that kind of led me to a fun idea. Do we have enough resources now to sleep all the way to day 300? Can we sleep for 50 days? in a survival island. I don't know, but I'm sure going to find out. The only thing I should have to do along the way is stoke the fire and maybe fight an octopus. But I do think it would be pretty funny if we could sleep for 50 days straight in a survival game. I'm also going to try not to do the mini games at night because those can give you resources. I want to use the 80 logs I have to try and do this. Day whatever this is, 290 about. First time we've actually had an octopus. It is now day 293. We need to repair our house. Survival is going pretty well. Considering we just slept for 43 days and I still have way too many resources. Probably thanks to this overpowered house. Because just like in real life, you just sit there and wait for Amazon deliveries and you have everything you need in abundance. But we're not there yet. We have six days to go, but we have 75 liters of water, 80 kilos of fish, 63 logs. So I think we'll be all right. All right. And with that, it's a rainy day 300. But I only like sunny days. It is day 305. We are absolutely thriving. All thanks to this overpowered house. But I just survived for 305 days on this stupid island and all I got was a top hat. 